Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tuesday. The S&P 500 had its third uh, close in record territory again today. Uh, it was up 0.3%. Uh, so that's great. You know, Friday, we hit the all-time high and we keep on going here. Uh, kind of a soft day altogether. Finished well. Uh, earnings season's happening. So we're getting some good earnings and some bad earnings. Overall, I'd say they're good earnings, but and that's kind of driving the market. But you get a lot more volatility right in the sessions uh, just because, you know, there's a lot of different companies with different results and different outlooks on what's going to happen. Uh, and Yahoo Finance had an article today, you know, just kind of in trying to point out the positive uh, there's been 14, the last 14 times where the market took at least one year to get back to an all-time high. So in our case, basically what just happened today was one day. So in the real you know, case of uh, the 3rd of January was the high of 2022. And then again, on Friday of last week, we, we finally broke to that high a little over two years later. So uh, it's been 14 times, the last 14 times where it took at least a year to get back to the all-time high. Uh, they w were up uh, 13 of those 14 times in the next 12 months, an average of 14%, uh, which is great. As a matter of fact, uh, nine of those 14 times, the market made more than 10%. So uh, again, this is that momentum piece. This is where things are carrying through. Uh, you know, it's been, uh, you know, something I think that's super important is what's been holding us up all the way through this whole time frame is just we've had the right momentum we've had the primary trend going in the right direction uh, again doesn't mean we don't pull back some here uh, just because we have had such a huge run uh, but there's still money coming into the market it's kind of fascinating to watch uh, you know, I still think back to October 27th of last year, uh, we were doing our show, we presented the Bank of America survey, which showed that uh, uh, the big pension and mutual fund managers had their lowest exposure to the stock market, uh, you know, in the last 72 years. And uh, that was a point that was quite low, it wasn't a good point to not be in the market. Uh, and so obviously, there was a lot of people jumping in, and they're still coming in. And I think there's still a lot of money on the sidelines. Uh, there's still a lot of money in money markets and people's uh, personal accounts, um, a lot of money in CDs uh, as they start to come due. Maybe some of that comes back into the stock market. So there's plenty of fuel for the fire as far as that goes. Uh, obviously, we'd like to see some justification. So earnings you know, continuing to do well would be good too. So anyway, that's what's going on today. Another good day. Uh, really happy to see what's happening here. And again, we'll talk to you tomorrow.